हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्पॉन्टेनियस इमिशन एंड स्टिमुलेटेड इमिशन लेट्स विगेन वी स्टडी स्पॉन्टेनियस एज वेल एज स्टिमुलेटेड इमिशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ basic points related to their differences first one for spontaneous emission what is spontaneous emission spontaneous emission takes place when an atom is already in excited state the atom already in excited state and when that atom is in excited state at that of situation it requires no external radiation to start the emission process no external radiation is required to start that emission process and that excited atom does not remain in that of excited state for a long time and it is de-excited from that of excited state let that excited state is e2 and the ground state e1 by emitting a photon and that photon having the energy h nu is equal to e2 minus e1 the energy difference in between these two levels e2 that is the excited state e1 is the ground state and this type of emission is called spontaneous emission emission takes place spontaneously there will be no such requirement of an external radiation for stimulated emission stimulation emission is the process in which an incident photon of appropriate frequency triggers an atom in an excited state to emit radiation in case of spontaneous no external radiation is required but in case of stimulated emission an external radiation is required and what type of external radiation that external radiation having that of uh, photon that photon has appropriate frequency that's why it triggers that particular atom which is present in that of excited state stimulated emission is process in which an incident photon of appropriate frequency triggers an atom in an excited state to emit radiation understand uh, it by taking the graphical figure e1 that is the ground state that e2 with the excited state and that atom present in that of excited state this is the situation initial state of atom what happened in case of spontaneous emission in case of spontaneous emission ground state having energy u1 excited state having energy e2 there will be the atom which is excited if uh, that atom releases some energy which is equal to the energy of the photon 
एच निव देन दट आटम गोज थ्रू टू दैट ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट इस इधर फाइनल स्टेट ऑफ दैट ऑफ आटम The type of emission is called spontaneous emission. Spontaneously, that atom releases the energy. That amount of energy is the energy difference in between these two levels, which is equal to h nu, energy of a photon. And that kind of emission is known as spontaneous. But in case of stimulated emission ground state excited state and the atom in that of excited state this is the initial state of an atom but in stimulated emission situation an incident photon of appropriate frequency is required that is an external radiation the incident photon having energy h nu h with the planck constant nu with the frequency and the incident photon which is an external radiation and that it triggers the process of emission and that emission is due to an external trigger an external element which is known as a stimuli therefore that process is known as stimulated emission so in final state we can get the ground state the excited state no atom in that of excited state so when that of atom in that of excited state to that of ground state it is released an energy having h nu again an incident photon of energy is nu we have to introduce again an incident photon having energy h nu is incident now the atom towards the ground state this is the final state of an atom and that kind of emission is known as stimulated emission and the direction of that incident photon is same as that of direction of that of released photon these two are in the same direction and also their frequency their phase and their energy will be same in spontaneous emission it has uh, a broad spectrum the emission has a broad spectrum broad spectrum in the sense that is many wavelengths that is many wavelengths in case of stimulated emission it has a monochromatic radiation 
द इमिशन हाज मोनोक्रोमैटिक रेडिएशन हाविंग ए सिंगल वेब लेंथ इट इज मोनोक्रोमैटिक इज ए ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम इट इज ए मोनोक्रोमैटिक रेडिएशन इन स्पन्टेनियस एमिशन द रेडिएशन इज इनकोहरेन्ट इन कोहरेन्ट रेडिएशन इनकोहरेन्ट मीन्स टू सोर्सेस आर सेट टू बी कोहरेन्ट वेन द फेज डिफरेन्स इज एदर कन्स्टेंट और इन फेज सेम फेज डिफरेन्स इन बिटवीन दिज टू सोर्सेस then these two sources are said to be coherent if the phase difference is not constant or these uh, two are in different uh, phase so these two sources are said to be incoherent in spontaneous emission is under incoherent radiation but in stimulated emission it is coherent type of radiation coherent type of radiation because the released photons as the incident photon also the photon released from that of atom when it is transferred to that of excited state to ground state these two photons are in the same direction same phase therefore that kind of radiation under coherent radiation spontaneous emission less intense intensity of radiation is less stimulated emission highly intense spontaneous emission less directionality and less angular spread during propagation in the direction as well as in the angular spread both are less in spontaneous emission situation in case of stimulated emission it is highly directionality as well as highly directionality since these two photons or the released photons are in the same direction these are highly directionality but less angular spread but less angular spread during the propagation examples of spontaneous emission examples light from a sodium lamp or uh, light from mercury vapor lamp are under spontaneous emission this two light source we basically use in physics laboratory to show various kinds of experiments related to optics under stimulated emission example light from a laser source that's an important point to form a laser or to create a source of light having laser that kind of uh, emission is 
stimulated one. In stimulated uh, emission process is the basic to form a laser source of light. Next important point on spontaneous emission. Here the photons used in case of spontaneous emission is not in the same phase. The photons are not in phase. There is uh, not phase relationship between them. There is not phase relationship between them. But in case of stimulated emission, the photons are in phase. Are in phase, same phase, and there is uh, a constant phase difference. There is a constant phase difference. As you, as we say, that kind of radiation is under coherent radiation due to the photons are in the same phase and uh, there will be a phase difference is constant. So, here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of spontaneous emission and stimulated emission basic difference in between these two kinds of uh, emissions what is spontaneous emissions what is stimulated emissions, some basic difference in between these two. This kind of emis emission has a broad spectrum, but in stimulated one that is monochromatic radiation, incoherent radiation, coherent radiation, less intense, highly intense, less directionality and angular spread during propagation, highly directionality, but less angular spread during propagation. Example light from a sodium lamp or, or mercury vapor lamp is under spontaneous emission but the example of stimulated one light from a laser source. Next the photons used in spontaneous emission are not in the phase and there will be no such phase relationship between them but in case of stimulated emission the photons are in the same phase and there is a constant phase difference. So with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session. Thank you.